I feel like Janet Jackson's often very underrated. Um, huge uh, during the 90s and early 2000s. Um, what can I say? This was this was a big one for, for Janet Jackson, all for you. Um, came out, it was recorded in 2000, it came out in 2001, March 6, and it was from the album, All For You. And I remember it being, it came out and it was cool. I mean, you know, again, it was another one that you hear and you'd go, oh, I don't hate that. I never like bought it or anything, but but I enjoyed it um, just like everybody else did at the time because it was everywhere. It was really, really cool. Um, thanks for coming in and saying hello. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. I know I they tell you me to remind you um, and, I, and I do appreciate that you have been doing that. Um, so yeah, enjoy some of the other videos on the on the channel and um, have a have a chat in the comments. And and if you have met Janet Jackson or if you have any Janet Jackson anecdotes, we'd love to hear them also. Um, I'm going in on these songs blind, so I don't know everything about everything about it. So you're getting my original reaction on this one, particularly. Um, I haven't heard this through um, the individual tracks. So enjoy the ride. Uh, please do forgive me when I am wrong because I will be. It happens as part of the human experience. But I'm going to read from you, read for you the first paragraph of the Wikipedia for this particular track. All For You is a song by American singer Janet Jackson, released as a lead single from a seventh studio album of the same name on March 6, 2001. Uh, written and produced by Janet Jackson, Jimmy Jam, and Terry Lewis. All For You is a dance pop song that heavily samples The Glow of Love by Change which is the song that he's, we'll hear, I'm, I'm, I would imagine. Uh, while lyrically, it's about flirting with someone on the dance floor, it received positive reviews from critics and was noted for its transition to a brighter and more optimistic sound from the darker tone of the singer's previous album, The Velvet Rope, from 1997. Um, let's go and have a look at that mix window, man. Let's check that thing out. I'll move that window over, just do a little bit of a dodgy stuff there. Cool, all right, now we're over there. <laughs> so we can see... We are up for 28 fantastic tracks here. Um, I have rearranged them just to see, you know, put them into the flow that I prefer, which is drums, bass, and then other mid-range instruments, and then vocals towards the end. So, um, there's one there called Antera's Vox. Now, I wonder, back in the day, Autotune, the original Autotune was done by a company called Antera's, and I wonder if that is that, or if it's something different. But we will find out as we go. So kick a couple of snares, a couple of hi-hats. Four, in fact. Um, we have, oh, five. Oh, can you hear that? That sounds weird. I'm going to turn that off. We have an open hi-hat as well, so that's an extra hi-hat. Shaker percussion. The glow sample, I would imagine. That is, yeah, that's what that is. Bass guitar. Pluck Chicka's Glock. There's got to be Glockenspiel. It can't be a <laughs> uh, J Extra. Juno Keys. TB's, Scratch Synth, String Wah, Wheeze Synth, and Terrace Vox, Chorus Answers, Chorus Harmony, Chorus Melody. You can see all that for yourself. If you want to look at that, go for it. Otherwise, if you looked three seconds ago, skip forward. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, uh, let's check out this kick drum sample here. Um, I assume you guys know the song, and if not, go and listen to it right now. I will put that up there um, at about that, you know, whatever mark I'm at, so you can listen to that one. Here's the kick. It's going to change in one moment. Wow. I feel like that's got a lot of hot, like top end energy there, but like the first few sound like really nice beefy kicks. Look at that. Really nice rounded you can see it's just a big hump around 70 hertz with um you know a bit of extra lump around that 200 and then this all this top end energy comes through i feel like i feel like filtering that out and it would be but hey it's there it's in the track it's um jimmy jams the uh, i assume that's jimmy jams the man he knows what's going on very interesting very cool all right snare me up scotty Oh, that is like a beatbox snare. You know what I mean? Uh, I nearly choked on my own tongue doing that. <laughs> Second snare. Very, very... Very like TR-808. 
almost it's almost Korg Volker that. <laughs> I won't say that. If you've done the mod, then you'll know. Ding, 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 ding. Sorry. Okay. Put those together. Yep. Get that. Let's check out that first now. I just want to see what's going on because you can hear a lot of top end in it. Um, I'll move that down so we can see this the sample. Um, how's that going to work? Okay. You go to the top and you go to the bottom. Thank you. Okay. Around that 200. And then a little bit of top energy and then some stuff going around the bottom. Let's see if we can actually hear the low end. It's not just work. It's all the big stuff's there. The real kind of body is around there and then everything up. The top is just definition. Turn that off. Check out snare two. Sorry guys, just clicking around too much on you. So around that 200 still, and it's just a little tighter. There isn't <coughs> at the end of it. That's cool. We like that. Hi-hats. Look at tiny. Look at these little baby hi-hats. Let's juice them up so we can see they're still tiny. I don't watch that. Sounds like a dog gone. <laughs> Yeah, look, there's not, there's like barely anything. There's this 150 sort of thing going on. And this 2K thing going on. Uh, any wonder they lay it up four of them. Five. Oh, here we go. That sample sounds like, you know, something that's been struck at least. So you can hear that body around that 200, and then the tone, and then the top end there. Cool. Hat three. That's the that's the dog one again. Oh, double hit. Was that was that an accident? Interesting. Okay. 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 It's just a little louder, and then electric hat. Oh, that's panned too. That's in a stereo pair and it's panned. Oh dear. Okay, let's put all those hats together for now. It sounds like I'm at a panting dog convention. Okay, an open hi hat here. <laughs> I'm at a panting dog convention and a rattlesnake co showed up. Or a cobra. <laughs> I think we get rid of hat too. <laughs> and we're at the general midi high hat convention. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, shake me up, shaker. Oh damn, that's some to that's totally some drum machine programming shaker. It sounds like what I imagine psychosis is like. Yeah, that's so, so that's the thing is, you know, I, I always say this, but I always hear these sounds and I go, why would you pick those? Because they sound really weird on their own. Like they sound like fake and, and, and like just kind of computery or whatever. But then you put them all together into this thing and you mix them and they turn into All For You by Buddy Janet Jackson, don't they? So this is just while we're here, let's have a look through the rest of these drums. Oh, you got the hi hats. We got the dog convention with the snakes in it. Snares. Now we got it. Ah, uh, yep. And then kick it up. Mm, mm, yep. It could be anything now. All right, that's so good. That's so good. Percussion. Uh, a few pieces of noise here. <laughs> I want that. Someone's told me what that is, but I can never remember the name. But if you have one and you don't want it anymore, send it over. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is totally the creative writer, Microsoft Windows 95 sound pack. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, I'm all about it. So what, is there only two samples on this whole track? 
And then another doink. Okay, we'll go right from here, and I'm going to um, solo out all those drums so that we can hear some of that. Come on now. Okay. And then the boing. Great, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. That's super cool. The Glow sample. Now, this is from that song that they sampled called The Glow. I wonder why they've called the track The Glow Sample. All right, let's hear the glow sample and try not to get shut down. Um, do it. Oh, you getting this? Mm. That's a perfect groove. That's just so good. Why would you do anything to that? But then again, you make All For You by Janet Jackson, don't you? It's all for you. It's all for you. That's so good. How good is bass? Just popping on those things. It's so good. We could listen to this all day. Okay, we've got to get to some. Oh, hang on. We just got to a really good part in the bass. best thing about bass, what I really love about it, is that you've got to be really, really good at it, but in order to be really, really good at it, you've got to practice a lot, but the way to be really good at it is to not do it all the time, but like not do everything you know. This guy's listen to this bass. Leaving all this air, leaving all this space, leaving all this, these gaps for things to happen. And he's just doom, 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 doom. You know, there's a big space where he doesn't do anything. That's what makes a good bass player a good bass player, I think, is the ability to shut up and just let the thing happen and create groove. Your drums are providing a beat. You, the bass player's laying the groove. People will argue about this till the cows come home, but bass player plays on a different note, then that groove is going to change no matter what the drummer's doing. Love that stuff. Anyway, let's go to the bass for the actual song rather than just a sample. Uh, from the Michael Finnegan, that's the begin again for those who don't know the ch- tune. Super low. You copping that? Let me crank it. Wow, that's really sub bass, huh? I'm exaggerating that. 21 dB up, and a bit about 1K. I can hear like the background noise, the noise floor. This is probably um, synth bass. Yeah, wow, that's pretty mighty though. Let's put it together with the glow sample. It's a sub octave like below it or something. Okay, so it's just reinforcing the bass from the sample. Well, that's really cool. Pluck guitar. Now, is that going to be doing the same thing? Is that going to be doing that? Let's try it. Okay. Jeez, that's clean, isn't it? Not too much. Look at that. We could add detail here. It'd be too much, though. Excuse me. See, I would normally try to put something in with too much detail where this is just right. Okay, okay. Chickas. Let's hear those. Edit. Edit. 
I'm an alien. Chica. That's a chicka. Oh, that's like a can, 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 can of Coke opening. Speaking of. Chica. Just keep that sugar out of your system, everybody. Chicas. Chica. I've got a strange feeling I'm not going to hear anything different on this track. Uh, uh, let's let's move along to Glock. Uh, it's not going to be a weapon. It's going to be Glock and Spiel. Thank goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, this is the melody for the It's all for you. <laughs> okay, I think we can see what's happening here. If you if your pattern recognition's any good, you'll see that is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that. So I mean I'm happy to sit here and listen to Glockenspiel with you all day long, but I mean, you're the, you're the one with the power of skip, <laughs> unless you are watching a live one. Or a premiere. And by the way, if you are watching on YouTube, um, it is a premiere, but it is not actually recorded the very second you are watching. It's recorded the night before, just uh, to go out to my mates um, on Facebook, just in case I say anything really bad, and then I can just like get rid of it and not show it to you on YouTube the next day. <laughs> Never happens. Edit. You're editing everything. Why is we everything everything getting edited? Okay, so that's J extra. I'm going to move that up because I say edit together. Move up along. But, however, don't let that discourage you from making comments because I do put them on for my time, 7 a.m. So I'm, I'm up to see these if you guys are around. Um, and I will respond to you. I will. I'll do the best I can. I really love talking to you guys. You're, you're the best, nicest people I've ever met. So thank you so much for watching. Tell me. Okay, this is, a C, this is a vocal track. We're not supposed to list at this until... The end. We know how this rolls. See you later, Janet Extra. Down the bottom with the vocals. Thank you. Oh, get rid of that. Bass, pluck guitar, chickas, glock, Juno keys. I'm all about that, Juno. I love how Juno, like... I wonder if Juno one day will become like 808s, where people think it's one thing. Like, doom. That's 808s. Just like, no, that's kick drum sound or the floor tom sound on an 808 that 808 is an entire drum machine but a Juno is a series of keyboards by Roland <laughs> that's sick that's something a guitar would normally do and I really appreciate that it's being used like this again not a lot of top end in this particular track just add some artificial. Yeah, no, it's just they've got it dialed in to be perfect because this is a very, s very smooth sounding song. <coughs> Excuse me, a very smooth sounding track, if you ask me. A lot of Janet's stuff is very non-abrasive, um, smooth kind of music. I find. Oh, give me that! That's so cool. Okay, next individual beat. Same thing. TBs. Okay, we're seeing a pattern here. Okay. Come on. Okay, okay. We get the gist, we get the idea. Scratch synth. Um, let's hear it. I wonder if it's going to be doing like a DJ scratch sound or if it was a synth that we're going to scratch later. Who knows? See, I love hearing little mistakes like that. I accidentally hit an extra key. But obviously they didn't use MIDI for this because otherwise they could have just edited that MIDI out. They could have edited that note. Okay, we get the idea. Thank you, Scratch Synth. Oh, what's this? Is this different? I feel like I'm playing Game Boy or something. That's definitely like, the tone is very bit, you know, chip-tuny, bit sort of 
thing. Come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. <laughs> Just happened to have a Game Boy sitting around. Thank you very much. Modify that one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, string. Let's hear that. Uh, Going to be synth string, you reckon? Probably. Very cool. Really quite thin, that sound. It's like literally one frequency. Okay, move it along. There's so much air in that. And noise floor because the signal to noise ratio is so low. Signal to noise ratio, I mean, see that really thin line? Excuse me. That's the noise, the background hiss, and the other thing is the signal. So, and even if I pull that down, that's a realistic uh, idea of what it looks like. You want your signal to be higher by a ratio to the noise, which is as small as possible. When the noise is high and the sound is low, and you bring that up, you bring the noise up too, so you get in the background. There you go, there's some science for you. <laughs> Probably wrong too. <laughs> I told you to prepare for that. Listen to Wah Guitar. Great. Okay, so it's very right pan shifted. Let's go up to here where there's some more action. Cool. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and this section, is that any different in the middle? Tonally though, that's quite attractive. Sounds like it's an amped sound. And for those of you who wonder what a wah is, it's essentially what I'm doing here. S sweeping a boost in a particular frequency along the frequency spectrum. But hey, we're not here to learn. We're only here to have a good time. So no learning. Everyone stop listening. Wheeze. Synth. Wheeze me up. And again, none of this on its own really sounds recognisable except for that glockenspiel part. Until we put it together. Okay, more of that. Another cool little mistake. These are all probably done on Juno. Okay. Alright, I feel like this is the point where we're going to put, put a few tracks together and have a listen. So I'm going to go with all of the non... Um, all of the non, what's what am I trying to say? All of the non-percussion instruments, except for the bass, and have a listen and see if we can recognise this song yet. <laughs> even though chickas are a vocal, not a whole lot yet. And even if we add percussion, let's try it. Still not much, and then we got this. There it is. There it is. There it is, everybody. That's right. That's so Take the sample away, even. Bass. Okay. Bass. I think you understand how serious I am. <clears throat> Bass. 
Just think about that, all right? Peace. Yeah. No bass? No song. Bass. Song. Sample. How sick is this? Anyway, was getting too carried away. Let's hear vocals. Let's hear Antares Vox by itself. Before I do that, we're about at that halfway point. Go and do the subscribing. Thanks. Back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like saying it any more than you like hearing it, so you know what I mean. Just do it for me, <laughs> if you want. I don't really, I really don't care. Thank you, thank you for just being supportive. Appreciate you, and Terrence. Hundred percent, I knew it was going to be auto tune vocals. And Ter, and and, and Terra's auto tune. It was actually, I think it was spelled differently. And Tares, I think it was supposed to be A N T A R E S. Someone confirm it for me. I don't know because I just used the one that's built into Logic. Um. And Tara's auto tune. Here it is. It's all for you. 2001, being experimented with after Sher put that track out, after Daft Punk have done Discovery, and they've done One More Time with Romanthony, which, by the way, if you watch that Netflix documentary on pop music, they really disinclude that, and it shitted me up the effing wall, because I'm, I love Daft Punk with everything that ex- exists in my being, and it really annoyed me that they didn't even get an acknowledgement on there. They focus on T-Pain, which who is fantastic, by the way. I need to find some T-Pain. He is really, really great, and I really, really shits me that Usher ruined his life by giving him a bad rap. Usher, by the way, fantastic. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch that Netflix show about pop music and the, the auto-tune one specifically. But, um, and Terra's auto-tune, they changed the game, they changed the world, and everyone got really upset with them for no reason. It's all for you. Cool, cool effect, cool effect. You. It's all for you. It's all for you. All right, I've got a strange feeling it's just going to keep going like that. We're going to hear Janet Jackson saying it's all for you with autotune on, which is great, and we can hear that a lot. Okay, the chorus answers. I believe it says chorus answers, right? If you really want me. Oh, thickness. If you say you need it. Look, listen to like how nice that sounds, and let's have a look at some of the things that have been produced here. If you got to have it. I mean, it's panned for one. If I put it all to one side, you would hear it all through one ear, and we can we can check that out here. If you really want it. But it doesn't have that effect that it has when you put it together and it's panned hard left and right with Janet on either side. If you really want it. And you can hear, obviously, the headphone bleed into the microphone as well. If you say you need it. If you gotta have it. It dropped out on the side. They gate. They cut her off there, and they bring her back in. I'm gonna put the enteros back in. Tell me you're the only one. It's so you'll be having fun. It's all for you. Come over here and get some. Really cool early example of being uh, of autotune being used uh, in a song, and not overbearingly either, as an effect in the background, not as the main vocal. Uh, very very cool. And again, that track is just all for you all day long. Tell me you're the only one. Uh, so, you know, these backing parts. Soon you'll be having fun. Cool. Come over here and get some. Soon you'll be having fun. Sorry if I'm breathing on the microphone. I'm just having a good time, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, okay, chorus harmony. Um, oh, one. Uh, from right at the start of the track. Cool. Guess I'm gonna have to write it tonight. I remember this. Check it out. It's all free. Oh, yes. Uh huh. It's all free. Yes, it is. It's all free. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? What a great sound. What? I don't remember that. If you make a good move, is that what she says? If 
if you make a move, it's all for you. Geez, that was easy. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> so you so much you're gonna do. <laughs> When a singer is so good that their voice no longer sounds like a voice, it sounds like an instrument. Um, do you know, like, and you can layer that thing up, put all the harmonies on it, and turn it into a chordal instrument. That is just. I could never do my own backup vocals because it would just sound like me going hmm, in the background. That's Australians for you guys. Sorry. So you so what you gonna do? Promise you won't even have an attitude. Mm. Mm. Don't join the list with the other fools. I don't even know what you said, but I'm liking it. Yes, it's cool. Yes, I'm in the mood. Oh, that's cool. Me too, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's add those harmonies in the melody. It's the top end part. Let's hear it on the sound. That's just two channels, left and right. If you make a move. And then the other one. Two on that side, two on that side, I believe. Two on either side. Um, Janet, if you're watching, please uh, call up and explain what happened. Because, you, of course, Janet's going to be watching. You guys know this stuff. And, again, put your facts in. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I want a dissertation on this track by the morning based on this video. Thank you very much. Check my work for me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let's hear it with the answers. And the auto tune. Gorgeous, and that track is going to be that whole um, channel is going to be the same that entire way. Fantastic. Go back to this chant right at the start, and I think it's going to be the dry version of that. We've already heard the affected one, so let's listen. All my girls at the party, look at that body, shaking that thing, looking up at the sea, got a nice package, all right, cause I'm gonna have to ride it tonight. Oh, Jesus. All my girls at the party, look, look at, at that, that body, shaking that thing, looking up at the sea, got a nice package, all right, cause I'm gonna, gonna have, have to ride, ride it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they let this be on the radio, guys, in 2001. They let it be on the radio. You've got a nice package, all right, I guess I'm gonna have to ride it tonight. Is this a UPS ad? Is this a USPS? What's up? With the party, look at the party, shaking that thing, looking up at the sea, Spooky. You're going to be wondering how this effect's done, and I'll tell you just after this uh, next half. So, what we've got going on there, and again, I'm probably wrong, it's a theme. On the affected channel, you can hear, it sounds like it's been reversed. What happens is they would reverse the clip original, right? They would flip it. And I don't know, can, can I do this on here? I mean, I don't know if the police will come over and be like, you can't reverse Janet. It's illegal. We won't stand for it. That's what, that's what all police sound like in Australia, guys. We're not bloody taking that. You, we, we have, we've had enough of you. So if I go to this... Let's just even copy that onto a new track. I'm gonna let's just do this for real. Um, how do I make a new channel on this program? I'm just gonna do it like you're gonna cringe, but I'm just gonna go track new tracks um, because I can't remember the auto thing. Let's copy this onto that channel. Okay, and that way we can not tamper with that one. Let's see if we can c do some processing. How do you do? Let's reverse it. This is gonna be so embarrassing when I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I want to reverse this, guys. Anybody know how to do it? Oh my god, how embarrassing! Processing is that a possibility in here? What I'm trying to say is, if you reverse that, you then apply reverb to it, and then you reverse it again, and then you come up with. So imagine this entire part. I, I'm not going to do it. I don't even know how to use Logic, guys. I've been using this for like two and a half months just to do this. So listen up. I'm a girl's at the party. So we got this here, right? If we apply the reverb to that, it goes on the end. And when you play it backwards, it goes... You know what I mean? So we've reversed the reverb. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, I wasted your time. I've made an ass of myself. Again, delete. 
Uh, and we'll also... Oh, God. Okay. We're back to the start. All right. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to educate. So they've applied the reverb and then reversed it and put it back into its normal spot, but it's got the tail at the start now. Dry vocal. And so it's the reverb's preempting everything that's about to happen. It gives it that ghostly sound, um, which is really cool, I think. Uh, and what else do we have more on this chant channel? Because I'm going to have to ride it. Because I'm going to have to ride it tonight. Because I'm going to have to ride it. All right. Because I'm going to have to ride it. Because I'm going to have to ride it tonight. Because I'm going to have to ride it. Interesting. Excuse me. Interesting that they have taken that, um, copied it and dropped it in rather than having her sing that part. But again, that is part of the sound. Um, when uh, the, our, our Lord and Saviour Roger Lynn invented the MPC, he developed unknowingly a style that would be unrepeatable by the human people. You have to sample, you can hear the start and the end of it, and you can hear it in a certain way. So that's probably a reason for that. Thanks, Janet. All right. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Move over to the J Extra. Now, then we're going to hit the main Edit. vocal. Edit. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what do we have? Tell me. Cool. So will we have it fun? Get some. That ain't the way to be, no. <laughs> yes. She's she's channeling her in a Jason Statham. Save me a bear. Yeah, yeah. Ebenefer. What? She's say what? Yeah, yeah. You have milk. Did she say you love milk? Let's just hear that more. You have milk. I love milk. You have milk. Milk is so good. You I love milk. Someone tell me what she's saying, guys. I, I need to know. <laughs> Chewing on the end of my. What? You love milk. Chewing on the end of my. Soon we'll be having fun. Come on over here and get you some. Come over here and get you some milk, cause you love milk and chewing on the end of my. Guess I'm gonna have to ride it tonight. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to ride it tonight. I can't listen to that, Janet. That's. Uh, mm. <clears throat> Enough of that. I gotta know what that is. Surely I'll be having fun. Surely I'll be having fun, yeah, alright. Some. Get some. Get some, I get that. Say you need a baby. <laughs> Say you need a baby. Say you need a baby? Surely I'm the only one. Surely I'm the only one. Surely you'll be having fun. Surely you'll be having fun. Some. Come over here and get some. I'm with that. <clears throat> Do you like milk? <laughs> Surely you'll be having fun. Surely you'll be having fun. Surely you'll be having fun. Okay, all right. I think we've, yep, um, <clears throat> yep, I've exp expelled that for now. That's uh, that's done for me. Uh, <laughs> lead, Janet. Oh, I can't believe we're about to hear this. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to be so good. And she opens a can of Coke, for goodness sake. She was a Pepsi person, I think. Her and Michael. Pepsi people. Not Coke. None of that Coke, anyway. <laughs> I know where my loyalty stands. No sugar. Okay, so she's vocalising in the booth. Yeah, she lays it on there. Alright, now here's a real take. You can see this coming in with just some power. 
see you staring at the corner of my eye. You seem uneasy, want to approach me, throw me a line. But then something inside you grabs your sense, who am I? I know exactly cause it happens with all the guys. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold enough here to, to say that I believe that there's probably a low level amount of auto tune happening in that. She doesn't need assistance, it's just for something, but it feels like there's a little bit of false vibrato from that um like that's a, it's a it's a part of what it does. I mean, I'm not claiming it, I don't know, but you know the Antera's track from before, um, Antera's Vox here. If we put that on, no, it's too it's too tight. The um, <clears throat> the response is very fast on that Antares channel. That I don't believe the response is very fast on this channel, and it sounds like there's a little bit of that s into those notes that sort of is there. Again, you're not going to notice this when you're listening to the whole song together. It doesn't matter. Auto tune is not your enemy. Bad songwriting is your enemy, and that's why your songs suck and nobody listens to them. I'm talking to myself here, guys. Not you. You guys are probably fantastic. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, and and to, auto tune is not your enemy, and it's not a problem. And Janet Jackson doesn't need it. But what's the thing at the time? They were playing with it. Come on and talk to me. It's supposed to make. It's supposed to be a tool that was going to make workflow quicker. You had people like Janet who didn't need auto tune. They'd come in and lay a track down, but they'd pump a little bit down for her, and she'd be like, "Oh, it sounds great. Like I don't need to spend the millions of dollars of time that it takes to be in your studio um, to do this because I can do this now faster. So it's going to save them money. Little did they know they were shooting themselves in the foot because in a few years none of them would have jobs and they'd all end up on YouTube reacting to the songs that they've produced and uh, not being able to get any money out of them. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it happened. Unless you say it next to me. Plug-in packs. They all did that. That ain't the way to be. Just as, while I continue the rant on sound engineers, um, celebrity sound engineers and stuff like that, is a lot of the guys, that, again, the, the work dropped off because that people had laptops, right? So they all developed these plug-in packs based on plugins, arguably stock plugins you could get a similar result out of, but they put their name on them and they sold them out for 300 bucks and waves jumped on it and all that kind of stuff. So buy those on Black Friday sales, everybody. Intimidation's got that mind, yeah. I shouldn't be opening that can of worms here. We're at a positive place here. You. It's all for you. Gorgeous voice. I mean, what a talent. Like, I know not a uh, very stable upbringing, but I mean... Song for you. I'm so glad she was able to make her way through her life on her you. own with her talents and, and be able to be a successful person. It's all for you. Can't be afraid to keep me waiting for too long. By the way, if you're not a Janet Jackson fan, and I mean that's the thing is a lot of people wouldn't admit that they are, go and listen to um more of Janet. Like Actually listen, don't just put it on and think, oh, put it in the background while I'm cooking. No, sit down with a set of headphones and close your eyes in a dark room and listen to Janet Jackson and actually really enjoy some of the stuff because she's really, really, really good. You wouldn't even know. Before you know it, I'll be out of here, yeah, I'll be gone. But only because you didn't give a chance Don't yet. try to be a clever, cute, or even sly. Don't have to work that hard, just be yourself and let that be your God. So come and talk to me, bye. I'll even let you send my next to me. That ain't the way to be, boy. Intimidation never time. Listen to the control she has. It's all for you. And that's the thing with that. Like, even if there is a little bit of auto tune through there, you can't fake that kind of control. You can't. Like, you just. That's this is the one take, or you know what I mean. Not necessarily the whole song, but those things she's done them in one hit, and she hasn't gone over and had to piece notes in there like you know I would have to do. Go and find a note, uh, and then uh, and then uh. Oh, you see, I can't even sing those. Put them in there and cut between them, but she doesn't have to do that because she's a real talent. Um, am I missing anything? Let's just hear these last few little things, then we'll put some thing, put, 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 put some things together. It's all for you. We'll start doing it now. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. It's all for you. Come on over here and get yourself. It's all for you. Harmony. It's all for you. Gorgeous. I'm the only one. I'm going to have to write it tonight. Because I'm going to have to write it. Okay. 
have to ride it tonight, baby. Because I'm going to have to ride it. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to ride it tonight. Because I'm going to have to ride it. I'm a girl, so and you know so what you're gonna do. Shaking that thing, like you never did. Listen up. I'm a girl, and you're gonna listen to that thing. Listen to this. And then it just resolves into this. It's all for you. It's all for you. Let's do it now. All for you. Uh, uh. I said it's all for you. I'm I'm done with that because that's too good. I've got to go listen to this now. I've got to listen to it in full. You can do that too. The link should have been somewhere throughout this video. Um, um, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, go and just Janet your own Jackson, everybody, because you need to have a good time, and the only way to do that is to listen to Janet Jackson. Just enjoy yourself. Stick around for more Janet Jackson. Stick around for some Michael Jackson. Stick around for some Jackson Firebird, if I can get that. I'll have a chat to Hudak. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. Um, appreciate it a lot. Uh, yeah, again, do all the, the stupid things that YouTube's people want you to do, which is click all their buttons and that stuff. Hope you have a good time. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the comments. Enjoy yourself and, um, have yourself a glass of water, uh, a, a Pepsi product perhaps, uh, if you're talking to Janet and don't forget to say hi to your mates and then GFY, as far as I'm concerned.